Hello friends, welcome back. This is lecture 1.2 of aquifer. Last time we discussed about confined aquifer and some numerical problems related to that. In this video, we will also see some numerical problems and unconfined aquifer. Then we will close this aquifer lecture. This is about me, Abhay Agrawal. I got AIR1 in 2013 and completed my MPEG from IIT Kharagpur. So let's see this one more question. The, this question we discussed last time. So I have given for you this how I put this value and how you should write unit beside the value of discharge so that no error in unit should happen. Now see this get 2010 question. What is this thing? Confined aquifer. This diameter has given not radius. So please note down this diameter. For a certain range, radius of influence is given. So what formula you will use? H1 minus H2 or H minus H? You will use H minus H. So all conditions are same if the diameter of well is double. So they are talking if this diameter is double, then increase in L. So we, I will directly write this formula. I will use this discharge as Q1. Rest thing I will keep same and I will use this R as R1. And second formula I will write Q2 equal to I will keep all things same and I will write I will write R S R2 and that will become Q R1 and then I will increase I will calculate the increase in L. So this is how this simple question comes year after year. So if you will cal you please calculate using this formula and you will get this answer. Okay, you got the point. You do not need to touch anything, you just change this R. And when you will divide Q1 by Q2, all things will go cancel. This R value is given 400 divided by R means 0.15. So that will become one constant value, and Q2 will become another constant value. And when you will calculate this one, so one this much increase in percentage will come. Now we will see next question. This is year 2012. See, year by year question comes from this topic. If you are confined and unconfined aquifer is clear, then at least one question you can expect in examination. So here also confined aquifer, the pumping they have given two observation wells. Means what formula I will use? I will use H1 minus H2. See, here also they have not given height of water in observation well what they have given drawdown so h1 minus h2 what i can write that h1 minus h2 so again i will use this formula instead of h1 minus h2 i will write h1 minus h2 these two value i have this r1 r2 value I have see even if i am writing r1 by r2 i will get value of ln in negative term why I have write this R1 by R2 so that in remembering this formula you will get easy. You will not get confused. It was H1 minus H2 and ln R1 by R2 or R2 by R1. So this confusion should not be there. Even if you are keeping R1 by R2 and getting this negative value, what is problem? The value remains same, only the sign will change. And discharge can never be negative term. So automatically you will get the answer. Even if you want to change, then the the actual formula is R2 by R1. So it is not subjective type of question. You need to get at your answer. So see in this question also this 200 meter well. The value of this 200 mm is not used in the formula and it is not required. So don't get confused in any question if any value given in question is not used for your answer calculation. This happens many times. But it shouldn't get confusion in their mind. If I am not using this value, then maybe my answer is wrong. They get this type of suspicion. But don't worry about that. You apply your formula carefully. What they need? Transmissibility. I told you in the last lecture, transmissibility. And this transmissibility, they are one or the same thing. So they are asking the value of KB, the rest other value they have given. So you put the value in this formula and get the answer. The answer will be around 2, 
15. Uh, tell me in the comment section whether I am right or wrong. So let's see one more question for practice. Here I have a strike out radius y because they are asking to calculate diameter. But what we use in formula is radius. So in option they will also give radius. So once you get the answer, don't quickly tick mark the question. You ensure that whether you have arrived at the what you are taking has been asked in question or you are taking mark a wrong answer. Otherwise you will calculate each and everything right, but because of multiplication of two your answer will go wrong. So please keep on this type of work. People do lot of mistakes here. So let's solve this question. We pause the video and read the question. Now what formula will we apply? I will apply again same formula. Radius of influence will be given. This R. This R I need to calculate. After calculating this R, will that be my answer? No. What will be my answer? 2 times of R. Why? Because in question we have R diameter, not radius. Okay. So here 28 meter per second. So what I will do of this discharge? I will convert into meter cube per second. How? I will multiply it by 10 to the power minus 3. Will I change the unit of this thickness? No, because I need that in meter. So what is the thickness value here? Value of D. Drawdown is one. Where I use? I will use this drawdown. This H minus H will be replaced by drawdown. What is the coefficient of permeability K? It is 12 meter per day. Do I need to convert this day into second? Yes. Why? Because here I am using meter cube per second. So here my unit should be meter cube per second. Not meter cube per day. If I am using here meter cube per day, then make here also meter cube per day. So that's what I am trying to convey. Both side unit must be same. Otherwise your answer will be wrong. Make sure that. So now all value you have, just you need to calculate this value of R and multiply it with 2. So please calculate with your calculator. I have given you sufficient hint. Here is one more question in let more, most latest question, date 2016. Here also all things are given. You will understand the question and just apply in the formula. I hope you will solve this question and give me answer in comment section. So now let's move towards the unconfined aquifer. What is the theory behind it? I have explained you in 1.1. If you have if you have not watched that video, please watch that. So the formula will change something like this. This R will become radius of influence and this R2 will become distance of uh, radius of this pumping well. So whatever denotion we have used that will remain all same. Only formula from 2 pi k d x minus x divided by ln r1 by r2 say change over that will become pi k h square minus x square divided by ln r by r. So with this much speed you must be able to revise your formula. That formula should be in your mind. So I have solved one problem for you based on that you just read the question all other figure, denotion and every concept will remain same only that formula will change. That's why I said it. If you have understood the confined aquifer then unconfined aquifer will take only 2 to 3 minutes. You pause the video read the question. Now I am solving this for you. You see the this h minus h is drawdown. You understood this? So now I need value of h because total height is p1 is 15. So in this formula what I will do? Discharge I need to calculate the permeability value has been given as i meter per day. H value has been given as 15. This h value I calculated as 7. 
now radius of influence has been given as 180 this r value has been given as 3 meter is it 2 meter no this is diameter of 3 meter so what will be the r value tell me 1.5 meter okay so all rest thing okay now you can calculate the value of q in what your unit term asked in the question so this r will be meter cube per day or meter cube per second or meter or liter per second so what your value asked in question you give answer according to that is it easy now you are feeling well okay so now move to the next question here i have put value of sorry this is not 152 this is okay this is this is 15 square and 7 square this is not 152 and 72 this two will go as super square 15 square and 7 square please make correction here so this is case 2015 question most latest question so how you will calculate this in this question many of the value will not be used in the question so don't worry about that okay this is some different kind of question here unconfined aquifer was given that's why i have taken this question but there is nothing special in the question see when you have this term specific yield will come so even if we have if even if there will be no term like unconfined then you should be able to figure it out that specific yield is a term which is related only to unconfined aquifer transmissibility transmissibility is a term which is only related with confined aquifer you cannot apply unconfined aquifer formula for transmissibility that is only property of confined aquifer similarly specific yield is a property of unconfined aquifer so here they have asked for the discharge so discharge will come this much you calculate it. You pause the video, read the question, and see the solution, or try to solve by yourself. So here I will give you some explanation about the specific yield, which is this. You also remember one formula: specific yield plus specific retention is equal to porosity. This formula is very important. Sometimes they will give you a specific yield and porosity, and they will they will ask you to find out the value of specific retention. So porosity is nothing but summation of specific yield and specific retention. See, whatever I am saying, I am not able to include in this PPT. But while you hear this lecture, you please sit with one pen and paper and write down this extra information also. That will help you in the examination. So here we can read about this specific yield. In in critical question they can ask you specific yield is a term which is related to confined aquifer, unconfined aquifer, or urban dam or something stupid um options they will give. So you must be able to figure it out that it is related to unconfined aquifer. I think this much explanation for these two videos will suffice your description for confined and unconfined aquifer if you still have any doubt or not able to figure it out any question you comment on the comment box and we will reply you definitely thank you thanks for watching this video please solve numerical question from previous year i am not able to include all one all the numericals so you solve from yourself thank you have a nice day